dudes with dreads. And we're back. All right. The big one. Battle of the Prairies. West Final. The stage is set. You couldn't write a better script than this. Saskatchewan. Winnipeg. Princess Auto Stadium. Crazy. Crazy that this is how it worked out. But you take the good with the bad. You got to go into enemy territory. And you got to steal a win. Is that possible? Let's find out. All right, here we go. It was a packed house. No excuses. Jeez. Offensively, run the run the pill. Get some good field position. Win the trench battle for the Riders. For Winnipeg, don't let your back end fail you. And feed Brady. Don't let the offense be stagnant now. Right there to Dembski. The X factor is Kenny Lawler. But Brady is the, is the bell cow. Watch Kenny at the bottom of the screen. You always got to keep your eye on Kenny Lawler. First down. Oh, my goodness. Excellent route. Just cross the defense, across their face. The middle right there. Go to work. There's no answer. There's no answer. This just the moment I'm gonna tell you right now. The second the first first touchdown didn't hurt. All right, it's all it's 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 Kenny. Can't even get one. The second one, this one right here, back to back plays. Oh, I knew we was gonna be in for a dog fight. I already knew. I knew it was about to be. We were gonna be up Shit's Creek. See, I didn't say the curse word. I didn't say it. CFL. I didn't say it. I said Shit's Creek. S C H I T T S Creek. I didn't say the other word. So you can't get. You can't say nothing. Okay, but. Kenny Lawler lives for these moments. Kenny Lawler is the X factor. Kenny Lawler does Kenny Lawler stuff. And you know the word I want to use, but Kenny Lawler just be doing stuff, man. Come on. And I saw people saying, why don't we put Roland on him? Why don't we put Roland on him? Henderson's getting burnt. Who going to protect the middle then? Who's going to play over top? If we move Roland down, who gonna play over top? You got Marcus in the in, come on, man. Like, I swear, some people don't. Some people, when the game is going on, they get emotional and then they say things that they don't mean, and that's okay. I don't fault you. We all learn the game, we're all getting better. But it's not that simple just to move Roland down and put him on Kenny Lawler. Just, let's move on. Because I'm going to get a headache, and I'm going to get mad, and I'm going to start cussing, and then I'm going to get in trouble, and I don't want to get in trouble. I'm already $100 in on the pot with my son. So, what? Big play. 
flag. Flaggy flag. Go at it again. Two hands. Why can't you just use two hands? I said it on Twitter, on X, follow me on X, by the way. Uh, why did you catch it with two hands? Why you try to sit there and be damn cute? Two hands will make a difference. Just two hands, is, it's okay. It's okay. Not every catch has to be one-handed. It's okay. You had it. You had it. Look right here. I hope they replay it. Replay it. Replay. You. It's okay, Keyshawn. It's okay. Let me go back. I hurt my hand. You had a free hand. Two hands. Bread basket. Wonder bread. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. It's okay. I'm not mad. I'm just man. Just let's not lose our fundamentals. Jesus Christ. We're getting somewhere. Oh, dang. Block. Now, if we could just put points on the board after this. All right, run it. Oh, Lord. So nobody can tackle. So we can't tackle now? There should be no, there should be nowhere on God's green earth that a quarterback should take it, be able to bounce outside and who's setting the edge? Who's supposed to be setting the edge, fam? What are we? Come on. <laughs> oh, my God. This is going to be a long one. Don't worry. I got time today. We, it was just great play calling. Right here, this is great play calling. We're trying to double on Kenny, and boom, right there. You left him wide open. Butter ball, but, butter ball naked open. Nick could have done the stanky leg right there. If y'all remember the stanky leg, you know what I'm talking about. By God. Delston. This defense is flying. A hey, home had a ball game. He was the unsung hero. There you go, AJ. Now that's what we needed more of. I will say Trevor took care of the ball. Trevor did not throw anything. Now, this is little mistakes, little things, little, little damn things that make mistakes. We made mistakes. We made mistakes. We made mistakes. Too early. We're doing the thing that I was afraid of. Banking on field goals. That's what we need to stop right there, Malik. Plants. I feel like we're playing Ben Don't Break. Can't it just 
We can't afford to play Ben Don't Break. Okay. <laughs> this is dope. Risking his life. All right, second and 10. On down 15. There it is. I'm about to get my dunk on. Touchdown. It wasn't the prettiest, but damn it, he got up there. Oh, we got to go. Better angle. Better angle. This dude just revs up. Three, three, on um, busted coverage. The thing is, we're not even really out of it, though. The game is close, so they can't say it's an ass. Well, it's another dollar. They can't say it was a butt whooping. Because we're never really out of it. They stuck. Where's the line going? That's just great coverage. They played an absolutely outstanding defensive game. But this dude is ridiculous. He's the whole show. He's the whole effing show. I've watched football for over 30 years and in and, and, and memory of like noticing football, I'd say about like where I actually noticed and, under, and started understanding football, probably 25 years. And not just saying like NFL, CFL, whatever. I've never seen a running back like Brady Oliveira. And I've seen them all. I've seen them all. <laughs> I, I I I get so I have to respect game. Got to respect game. Brady Oliveira. Now you can say what you want to about. Oh well, he can never do that in the NFL. He's too small. Whatever. I don't. I don't care. A running back's a running back. For the Canadian game. And just football in general, I've never seen a running back like Brady Oliveira. I know running backs are undervalued nowadays, but Brady's the best. Brady is the best in the business right now. And quite honestly, he he's he's a he's he's not a dime a dozen. He's one of one. No gunner. I I I, I can't explain. You have to just, for, for all my American folk, you just got to watch him play. Brady deserves the opportunity to show his skills and show his gifts. He can get skinny when he needs to to get through a hole. He revs up. He doesn't, and I'm not saying this because it's the catchphrase of, of the reels, but 
He don't get tired. He don't get tired. He, it gets it gets progressively worse for your defense because within five minutes left of the third quarter, and he starts beating his head and doing all that. Boy, 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 boy. I tell you, Brady is different. I'm giving him his flowers. He, I want him to win MOP this year. I want him to win MOP last year. But dang, what more can I say about Brady Oliver? Ha hats off to this man, man. Just dang, he the best in the business. And if you, and if you, if it, fan base aside, fan base aside, when you actually watch him play, he is the standard. Not even on no glazing, no glaze. He is the standard. He he he's he's here. Everybody else is fighting for here, and there's some great backs in the CFL. But I'm gonna get off my soapbox right now, Brady. You 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 win. You win, dog. Congratulations on MOP ahead of time. This this is ridiculous. Oh my goodness. Home is <laughs> he's he's batting a thousand right now in coverage. No lucky, but good for us. Pause for a second. And I already know some people going to be in the comments section or on Instagram or Twitter or whatever when they see this. They're going to say, well, what about so-and-so? What about so-and-so? So-and-so is better. No, 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 no. I love me a Walter Fletcher, an AJ Ouellette, a Rock, a Jamal Morrow. You know what I'm saying? A Dedrick Mills, a Peyton Logan, a Kadeem Carey, uh, a Rakim, Kevin Brown, uh, Javon Lee. He, he was a returner. Uh, I can go down the list of running backs that I love to watch, but Brady, the film don't lie. The film don't lie. So before I already know y'all going to say something, I already know fan bases and people going to have their biases, 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 whatever, and, and say, well, Coach Phil, you don't know what you're talking about. You don't know what you're talking about. No, no, no. Watch the film. Watch the damn film. Just watch the film. <laughs> I can't. I, I I I've seen it all. Okay. So argue with argue with your mama about it. Maybe next season there'll be an even better running back. Somebody will step up and match Brady. I've seen guys that have better games than Brady, but in the totality of everything, dang. Oh my gosh. Again, home. Oh. Ooh. Good tackle. Short. Forty four seconds. Touchdown. They booed. Uh, 
unbelievable. I'm just going to jump right into the final thoughts because I got a lot to say about this. First, let me start with the winners. Congratulations to the Winnipeg Blue Bombers on going to their fifth, fifth straight Grey Cup. That is some Brady-ish right there. Uh, hats off to the organization, man. They've built a great thing there in the salary cap era to keep guys where they, they get guys to take pay cuts, where they get guys to buy in. This is dy- dynastic in a, in a diabolical way. Um, my only thing I will say is, man, can you get it done? Because there's two ways people are going to talk about this. You went to five great cup, five straight great cups, but you lost three and won two. Or they're going to talk about it and say, hey, they won three and lost two. They're a dynasty in a way. My personal opinion, let's just respect greatness while we have it. Because it's going to be a while before we see something like this again where a team goes to five straight. And in the in the player empowerment era, I don't know if it's really reached the CFL just yet, but it's coming where the league is going to need the players. And you're not going to be able to keep everybody. They've been able to keep pieces. They don't even have Dalton Schoen or Biggie out there. So well, what if they were at full power? But that's neither here nor there. Congratulations to them. Hell of a game from Kenny Lawler, Brady Oliveira. That defense, that defense. Shout out to Willie, Tony, Cramy, all them guys, DJ Nichols, all uh, uh, Ford, home play. You a hey, home homeboy. You played a hell of a game. <laughs> you played. You played. Sam, you played Sam Evelis. You wore him like Velcro. So that was that was great to see, man. Shout out to him, man. And. Uh, that defensive game plan was phenomenal from them. Neutralized the run game. They won the trench battle. They did they did even in three man, three man, they got pressure and got a sack. So they got pressure off the edge. They did everything that they were supposed to do, and I respected them for that. Now, for the riders, I'm gonna make this I'm gonna look y'all right in the camera and say this. I'm proud of y'all. Coach Phil is so proud of y'all. The fact that you guys and Coach Mace, Coach Mace and Mace we trust from day one, when me and you spoke, I said when Mace we trust, we knew we knew what it was. In your first year making it to the West Final, hell of a year. You going to win Coach of the Year, Coach Mace. You are a great dude. You've got a great staff. Shout out to Jordan. Shout out to Coach Daniels. Shout out to the whole staff, man. You know what it is. But... I'm not uh, I'm not demoralized. I think when you run into a team with championship experience, you got to you got to go through the fire, you got to go through the doldrums and you take your licks. You got to take your ass, you can't cuss. You take your butt whooping. Shed one tear like Denzel in that one movie where he just got the one tear, I think it was Glory where he got the one tear drop. Gangster. Y'all took it, but you only lost by 16. It's not. It's not nothing to. If if, they, if you just a couple more points here and there, you readjust, you re you retool, you get better, do your thing. Now to the people that sit there and say we should fire the whole staff, we should get rid of Reynolds, we should get rid of everybody. Why is it that when the team does good, it's still not enough? Why is that? Why does it have to be so drastic? It doesn't have to be that way. You have a good thing going. It could possibly turn into a great thing. You don't have to blow it up at every turn. I understand. I understand. Okay, four Grey Cups in over 101 years, 100 years, whatever the case may be. The fans are dying for another Grey Cup. But damn. It doesn't have to be that diabolical, okay? 
I saw people say we should fire Coach Mace. You got to understand, man, these are, these coaches, this is their livelihood. This is what they do. This is how they pay their bills. The same way you get up and you go, you put your boots on, you get your suitcase, you get your ham and cheese sandwich, you get your briefcase, and you get your coffee, and you go to work every single day. It's the exact same thing. Only thing is they make they make hella more money, and everybody thinks that they, just because you make more money, people think they're entitled to say what you should, what should happen with your job. Bunk that. Bunk all that. Co and Mace, we trust. In Lennon, we trust. In Daniels, we trust. We hear. We hear. This team is built. And they're going to do it one day at a time, lay brick by brick, and they're going to get better. So I don't want to hear none of that negativity. Hats off to this team for getting to the West Final, even after two years of not making it to the dance. They in here. So the Riders are here, and they're going to keep it pushing. So I'm off my soapbox with that now. I could say a whole lot more, but I ain't, I ain't I ain't in the mood for all that today. So that's the West Final. That was we did the East Final. It's time for Great Cup. So if you go into the Great Cup, have fun, be safe, enjoy the game, do all that fun stuff. I see you in Vancouver. So continue to be great, strive for greatness, all that jazz, and always remember. Good call. Good night, everybody.